Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, before we get started on this video, I want to give a huge thank you to Coffee Brand Coffee. Uh, if you notice down on the bottom right hand side of our screen today, we have a new sponsor, Coffee Brand Coffee. They've been gracious enough to give our viewers a 5% discount on all of their coffees, their teas, their chocolates, everything that they offer using the code OGTECH. You can also use a QR code reader to read the barcode. That'll take you to the page. And also, thank you guys so much for showing them love. And thank you to Coffee Brand Coffee. So, to today's video. You guys see here in front of you this big honking green thing, this monstrosity that if you've watched other people's videos have had mixed reviews based on whether if they like it or if they don't like it, you know, is it too cheesy, is it not practical, whatever it may be. And so I just wanted to show a little bit about what I think about this radio. Do I feel it's got its niche in the environment in ham radio and GMRS and so forth? Sorry, not GMRS because you guys aren't supposed to be using it, but it, we'll get into that. And, you know, is it worth the $60 that I paid for this radio? Uh, would I buy it again? So, as you notice, this radio is huge. I'm going to put this next to a UV5R, and you will see how huge. I will bring in an RD5R, which is basically a UV5R digital with an extended battery. And you can see it is still almost another 50% longer than a UV5R. So yes, it is a big boy, but with that big boy comes a huge battery. The battery that we have in our normal Baofeng here, and I'm using this term loosely because they are never what they say they are. If I remember correctly, yes, it is an 1800 milliamp hour battery. That is your default UV5R battery. Then you've got your extended batteries, which this one here is 3600 milliamp. You guys can see that there. Kind of hard to see. Anyway, so this one's 3600 milliamp. Well, if we take the AR152 battery off, which you push the button in the back the same as the UV5R, you pull down, you'll see this is a big battery. Now, they don't have the batteries specs on here. However, this is a 12 thousand milliamp hour battery or a 12 amp battery if you want to look at in amp hours versus the uv5r's extended battery which is 3800 milliamp hours 3.8 amp hours so you're getting almost four times the battery in an ar152 than you have in a uv5r it's like carrying four batteries or if you're not carrying four batteries you're carrying something like this which is going to top up your battery which is going to be heavier than if you just had this at the same time. So all the arguments of just take a UV5R with a battery, I'm guaranteeing you this right here weighs more than this together right here. So trust me, trust me, trust me. All right, so weight out of the way. We'll get that one out of the way. The next complaint was, well, it's just a UV5R. Well, okay. While it's just a UV5R, that may be the case. However, it's also a UV5R. So everything you have done with the UV5R, you can now do with the AR152 with a bigger battery. Now, my one gripe about this radio is, granted, it's it's very uh, modern-looking and military-ish. Uh, however, it's not. It doesn't have an IP rating. It's the same as your UV5Rs. You know, they've got this little dust flap here you know it may be ip54 at best which i even highly doubt considering there's your battery plug so it's not waterproof or anything like that but for the price of 60 bucks which is what it's going to run you for a uv5r with the extra batteries and then if you start throwing in you know your rav powers on top of that you might as well just buy this for 60 dollars and you can use it all weekend long and not have to charge your batteries All right, so getting to the last gripe that I've heard is, well, it doesn't put up enough power. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn on our meter here. We're going to go ahead and get it up to the power meter. We are on VHF. VTAC1 is our VHF channel here. So I'm going to go ahead and key it up. 
you can see we're getting 7.3, 7.3, yes, about 7.3, 7.4 watts. Okay, let's go ahead and switch to a UHF channel. And you can see on UHF, we are also getting 7 watts. Now once this dies down, you can probably see a little bit better, but trust me, it is on the upper channel for UHF here. So you got a UV5R with a 12 amp hour battery, which is four times than a normal battery for a UV5R. You've got seven watts coming out on VHF and UHF, which is, you know, you can get the BF8HP, which does about the same. So sure, you can get close to seven, eight watts, but a normal UV5R or RD5R or any of these platforms are normally about four watts on UHF and five watts on vhf respectively that's loosely you know you guys know how bow things are but you're getting seven watts both uhf vhf out of this radio it's it's not a bad radio guys i mean if you're going out for you know a paintball session for a weekend you don't want to bring extra batteries if you're going out for i don't know you're going hunting or hiking or whatever you're going to be out for a few hours do you really want to carry another battery charger and so forth you put this in a pouch and you're ready to go now, speaking of pouches, there are pouches out there that are available for this radio. Um, I did get this one off of Amazon. Um, I think it was like 15 bucks. You can see it's got just the big pouch area with the webbing. Um, it, what I do like is it actually does have an opening for you to be able to put the PTTs in. So, you know, I can slide it right in. We zip it up. Now you've got the radio ready to go. And you you could put it on Molly, you could put it on a belt, you could put it on however you want, and take it a step further. Get a nice PTT mic like this. This is my BTEC one. Get that little flap open. And then you can seal it back in. Now you've got your radio with a PTT ready to go in the field. I mean, it's it's that simple, guys. $60, you've got this long of a radio that's going to last you. Puts out 7 to 7.3 watts, 7.4 watts respectively on each channel. You know, pair it with another good antenna. Uh, the antenna that comes with it isn't half bad. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I got a tornado watch for this location. So, hey, hey. So here's the antenna that comes with the radio. Um, it's just this little tactical Baofeng, you know, antenna. Um, it actually works pretty well. It's, it's a pretty decent antenna. In fact, I use this on the UV5R sometimes. However, you know, I would change it out to something that's going to give you some more length, like in a Brie, like here. You get the little rubber washer on there. You get that locked down tight. You know, it adds to that weatherproofing. And you've got a little bit more range for you. So... You know, guys, if you know, it's 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 subjective, but if you're looking for a good upgrade to a UV5R, you want something a little, little bit more power, you don't want to put out a lot of money, you know, look at getting the AR152. You know, who knows? You may end up liking it more than you realize. All right, guys, that's going to do it here. Thank you guys so much. Again, thank you so much to Coffee Brand Coffee for sponsoring the channel. Please go show them some love. Get some coffee. You know, it's really good. I was actually just sitting here drinking a cup this morning. Amazing coffee. Um, you know, I can't, I can't stress it enough. So if I'm going to drink it, you know, I'm going to recommend it to you guys. 73, guys, have a great afternoon.